dreaded to run from it, destiny still arrives. For the internal combustion engines, this means being completely phased out by the rapidly developing electric powertrains. As proof, we'll be demonstrating to you a lineup of fresh supercars with EV souls that are dead set on beginning a new chapter in the history of high-performance luxury autos. So subscribe to Automotive Territory and ring the bell to be the first one to learn about the electric news. Enjoy the ride! Mercedes Vision AMG The new AMG concept gives us a glimpse into the future of the brand and previews the first-ever electric AMG that will arrive in 2025. This model builds on the range-focused Vision EQXX. It offers the same teardrop body shape but moves towards prioritizing performance and interior luxury. From the outside, the Vision AMG captivates with its striking proportions, huge 22-inch wheels and a new front fascia. The latter features a reimagined Panamericana grille with vertical slats and three-dimensional Mercedes star headlights. The rear houses triple-tube taillights, while the exterior color and graphics are lifted from the Mercedes-AMG Petronas Formula One car. This model also gets carbon fiber body elements and an active rear spoiler. However, what is truly remarkable about the Vision AMG is its dedicated EV platform. Developed specifically for the AMG vehicles, it debuts a new high-voltage performance battery and axial flux motors, which were developed by the company's new YASA subsidiary. Chevrolet Corvette Electrified The mid-engine C8 Stingray is a rather fresh incarnation of America's iconic sports car. But in a pursuit of EV domination, Chevrolet have already confirmed the electrified version for the 2024 model year. Rumor has it that the monumental newcomer will be named E-Ray and shall possess a price tag above 100 grand. The electric vet is likely to get a 3 or 4 motor all-wheel drive powertrain with the 800 volt Altium battery architecture. We shall expect 1000 horsepower output and a debut of the patented energy recovery system that takes the heat generated by EV batteries and uses it to warm the cabin, create more efficient charging conditions, and even increase vehicle acceleration. Porsche Mission R and 718 Cayman GT4 ePerformance Porsche's pool of test platforms for the 2025 track-focused electric sports cars now includes two models. The original fully functional prototype Mission R is now being joined by the GT4 ePerformance that is based on the chassis of the 718 Cayman GT4 Club Sport. These track beasts have an integrated carbon fiber composite cage, natural fiber composite body panels, active aerodynamics, and adjustable rear wings. Same materials were used inside the cabins and were paired with 3D printed foam elements. Porsche's electric truck power comes from a dual motor all wheel drive system fed by an 80 kWh battery with a 900 volt architecture. In the qualifying mode, the setup peaks at 1088 horses, while in the racing setting, it can produce 681 HP consistently. The Germans promise that their future racers will be able to stay in the race for up to 45 minutes. They take 2.5 seconds to reach 62 mph and top out at 186 miles per hour. Lotus Elettra As it was previously announced, Lotus is wrapping up its internal combustion program and therefore their future models will be fully electric. The latest addition to their lineup is the world's first electric hyper SUV that capitalizes on the Brits' 70 years of sports car manufacturing experience. The model gets an aerodynamically superior bodywork with a closed-off grille, a rear spoiler, and 22 or 23-inch wheels. The Lotus Elettra is built on the same 800-volt electric architecture as the Evai hypercar. It is a dual or a tri-motor all-wheel drive powertrain rated for 600 or 900 horsepower. The range is 370 miles, 0 to 60 takes 2.9 seconds, and the VMAX is 160 miles per hour. 
In its fully loaded version, the Elytra gets ceramic composite brakes with 10 piston calipers, air suspension and adaptive dampers. Besides the sporty feel, its interior screams luxury, with the seats and surfaces being wrapped in wool blend and man-made textiles, genuine leather and durable microfiber. If you want to speed up the arrival of the all-electric era for supercars, make sure to like this episode and watch till the end. Thanks for the feedback and let's proceed. Maserati Gran Turismo Folgor Despite Maserati's recent introduction of a groundbreaking in-house developed Natuno engine, the Italian brand is displaying a strict commitment to its electrification strategy. The production version of the Gran Turismo Folgor, aka Lightning, will take place in 2023, but it has already been spotted testing in camo. The coupe shares exterior styling with the recently launched Agricale SUV. There is the brand's signature grill, elongated headlights and new wheels. The GT Folgore is expected to ride on an all-new platform that uses Formula e Tech and supports 800V charging. Rumors also suggest several driving options, making at least 600 and up to 1200 horses, best-in-class handling and extreme performance parameters, namely 186mph top speed and 0-60 to 60 under 3 seconds. Subaru ERA and Lexus EV Supercar Toyota and Subaru are eager to continue their cooperation within the EV segment beyond the already released crossovers Toyota BZ4X, Subaru Solterra and Lexus RCE. The future capabilities of the co-developed electric platform of these Japanese brands is being demonstrated by the hypercar concepts developed by the Subaru Technical International, more widely known as STI. The ERA Challenge project was launched two years ago with the aim to gain expertise in the new carbon-neutral world of motorsports. The resulting racers are juiced by a 60 kWh battery and a 1,088 horsepower powertrain with the newly adopted proprietary for motor for wheel torque factoring technology. While the Lexus EV is more of a grand tour, the Super Electric Record attempt AK ERA is a true racer, and it is set to beat Nürburgring in under 400 seconds, or 6 minutes and 40 seconds. Deus Vajan Aiming to compete for the most powerful electric supercar title, the Vajan is the first EV from the Austrian startup Deus that will arrive as a 99-unit limited edition production model in 2025. It is being developed by such industry leaders as Etel Design and Williams Advanced Engineering, who are responsible for its drivetrain technology. The latter details are kept secret. But Deus promises the system output of at least 2200 horsepower and 1475 pound feet of torque. The company estimates that the model will sprint from 0 to 16 pH in under 2 seconds, while its maximum speed will exceed 248 miles per hour. As for the styling, the Vajan may not boast the most exotic exterior in its segment, though it does have several unconventional features. The most noticeable include the unique shapes of the front and rear grills inspired by the Infinity Loop, as well as a futuristic LED taillight stripe. The interior is dubbed the Oasis of Luxury, which means a high-end cabin packed with the latest of gadgets. Automobili Estrema Fulminea The name of this newly established Italian manufacturer translates as Extreme Automobiles, while the moniker of the brand's first creation stands for a lightning fast. Indeed, the upcoming hypercar promises blistering acceleration, taking less than 10 seconds to speed to 200 miles per hour from a standstill. This is made possible by a 240 horsepower all-wheel drive system with quad electric motors and a revolutionary hybrid battery. Measuring 100 kWh in capacity, the pack combines solid-state cells from Avasta battery energy engineering and ultra-capacitors, allowing for unprecedented energy density 
a 450 watt hour per 2.2 pounds of the battery weight. This should be enough for 323 WLTP miles. The 660 pound pack also has 850 volt architecture and supports fast charging in 15 minutes. The company plans to build just 61 Fulminaire units, all of which will be assembled in Modena. Matador MH2 Established in 1905 as a tire manufacturer, the Matador Group is now a well-known automotive parts supplier and in 2022 it is expanding to become an automaker. Their first project, the MH2, is a hydrogen-powered supercar developed in cooperation with the Slovak Technical University of Kasice. Instead of using the existing fuel cell technology, the model relies on a new propulsion system that minimizes the space needed to store hydrogen. The latter is kept under lower pressure, so it makes the car safer and provides longer traveling range on the fill-up. The company also promises solid performance packs for the MH2. 600 horsepower output, 155 mph top speed and 0 to 60 acceleration in 3.9 seconds. Yet another attractive thing about this car is its design. The low-profile athletic body features a single-piece glass canopy that goes across its entire front, while huge wheels are fully enclosed with slats to boost airflow. Keeping up with the futuristic theme, the MH2 cockpit is free of buttons and levers, and everything that you might need is showcased on a large portrait-oriented infotainment. Alpine A4810 A close collaboration between the European Design Institute from Turin and the French Alpine gives life to this electro-concept supercar. The two-seater boasts Formula One-inspired bodywork made of carbon fiber and sustainable materials. There is a gigantic splitter on the front end, ultra-thin strip of LED lights and massive wheel arches. The rear end also sports futuristic transparent LED taillights shaped like light blades. Another highlight of the concept's exterior is a matte black glass canopy stretching across the entire length of the body. A rather spacious cabin features a duo of low-slung bucket seats with a fixed backrest angle, Formula One-derived steering wheel, futuristic console panel in the center, and a red ambient lighting. At this point, no information was released about the powertrain details, except for the fact that it runs on hydrogen. What are your thoughts about the new portion of electric supercars? Are they worth getting excited about? Let's discuss them in the comment section below the video. Do not forget to support the electric car revolution by smashing the like button and spreading the word about EVs. As always, watch more episodes of Automotive Territory through the links on the screen. Stand with Ukraine and may the torque be with you!